Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Smart Rest application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's one of the best IPTV players that are available in 2024. Inside, you can use your playlist as M3U link or the Xtreme code. These two are the most popular ways to use IPTV today. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get IPTV Smart Rest Pro application either to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. So to do so, we'll need to go to the search on your device. Here it is. Open the search bar and there we'll need to start typing the loader because that's an application that will need to get to your device. And here, as you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after getting the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up your loader, we'll go to the settings on your Fire Stick, so we click on that button with the gear icon. After that, you need to scroll down to the bottom until you find My Fire TV. So we open it. From here, we'll have to find developer options on your device and turn them on. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find your developer options right here, don't worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll need to go to About, then select Fire TV Stick here, and make sure to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast. So let's do it. Now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer and in your case it should say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we need to go to install unknown apps. From here, make sure to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only the apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, Finally, we need to go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, we open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Singapore right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, open it up, fire up the loader, and then of course wait until the app loads for you. Then on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home, and then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be IPTV, 
smarters. Dot com. So once again, the link is iptvsmarters.com. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work for you. After that, we have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has loaded, we need to click on that sandwich button right here. So we click on it and then go to the downloads page right there. Click on it as well. Then a new web page is going to open up, which we need to scroll down until we find the direct download APK file button, which is right here. So we got to click on the direct download and in a couple of moments, the download for you is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty good connection, so the download itself shouldn't take more than like 10 or 15 seconds. Then you have to click on install and wait until the IPTV Smarters Pro gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. And after the installation was finished, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way, we get rid of unnecessary installation files from our Fire Stick and save ourselves some free space on our device. And that's super important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, let's go to the list of apps on your device, open it up, scroll down to the very bottom, and here you'll find IPTV Smarters, which we just downloaded to your device. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Now let's open up the application, wait until it loads for you. Here you'll have to select your device type. In our case, it's going to be TV because Fire Stick is basically a TV device. We click on save. Then a license agreement is going to pop up, which you have to read and accept. And from here, the setup is actually pretty easy. So there are two main ways to use IPTV. One of them is using M3U links, and another one is for the Airstream codes. It all totally depends on what IPTV service you are using. So there are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, and it's totally up to you which one to choose. So if your live TV provider gave you an Airstream code, then you would need to select that option. Here, add any name to your playlist and then use the username, password and the link which you got from your service provider. The IPTV Smarters app by itself does not have any content inside, it's just a player, so you need to get your playlist somewhere else. Then you are going to click on add a playlist button and your playlist is going to appear right here in the list of playlists on your device. Alternatively, a lot of IPTV services also offer M3U links, so if you got such a link, you would need to click on that option right here, then add any name to your playlist, and either upload it as a file, or click on the M3U URL and enter the link right here. After that, you are going to click on Add a playlist, and it's going to appear in the app. So that's the tutorial for today, just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.